Hi everyone, we are at the Centurion Lounge at the Vegas airport. We have not left yet. It is a gray and really cloudy and wet day. So unusual for Las Vegas. Thankfully our flight is not delayed or anything, but we do have like an hour. So we're just hanging out here before we board. It's a really nice lounge. I think it's relatively new too. I think they just redid it. Uh, but they have like a little breakfast bar and a lot of seating, which is really nice. They have showers and stuff. They have chargers at the tables and everything. But anyway, we're just hanging out here and uh, we're flying out to LAX. And from there, we're flying directly to Paris. Like your own name, read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens, it's been me, you'll be searching. Take a load off and your clothes off, just relax, you deserve it. You keep me up tonight, got you all on my mind. Seem like that's hard to find when they keep playing games. So now we're at the Delta Sky Miles Lounge at LAX Terminal 3. And just as a comparison, this is a gazillion times better than the Centurion Lounge <laughs> at Vegas, in Vegas, right? This one is much better. They're having Taco Tuesdays. The food is much better. The beverage, the space is a lot bigger. I'm guessing it's because LAX is much larger than <laughs> the Vegas airport. Um, but this is really nice, the Delta Sky Miles. Very, very nice. All right, we only have a few more minutes until uh, we have to board. I was able to sit here and work. I was able to edit a whole video and post it and everything. So, so proud of myself. Uh, but yeah, we're getting ready to board our flight to Paris. Thank you. 
front door that we just came in. And this is like a little sitting area, but it's like an atrium. Look at this sun roof. <laughs> is that what you call it? That's mirrored, but that's glass. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then our sitting area is down these stairs. We've got a little couch, table, TV is here. And I wish you guys could smell, <laughs> smell this room. It's, um, I think everything is Guerlain. Oh my God, it smells incredible. And then here is the bedroom. They're bringing up our bags now, so I figured it's a good time to do this before all hell breaks loose. I guess this is the little closet. Let's see. Oh yeah, they do have a steamer, very handy. And not too much hanging, not bad though. But look at these very Parisian windows. I like this mirrored reflective glass. There's our view at one. Our view out the other. Oh my God, this wallpaper is incredible. It's like fabric. And the bathroom, so lovely. I love all the marble. so tired. The toilet has a little handheld bidet situation. We've got a towel warmer. So I'm a little sad. I didn't bring, I ended up not bringing a workout outfit. That gym looked really nice. And then I didn't, I should have done more research. I didn't realize that they had like a whole pool and I mean, I knew they had spa, like spa services, but I didn't know they had like that steam room and, and all of that. So that looks really nice, but I didn't bring anything. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm like really delirious. It's been more than 24 hours. So, <clears throat> no, that's a lie, that's a lie. The, the actual time is 24 hours, but I have not been up for 24 hours, not just yet because of the time difference. But anyway, we're gonna get ready for dinner. We have a reservation at the uh, restaurant here. It's Belle F Foy, Foy, I can't pronounce that word. <laughs> Belle Foy, we'll say. Um, it's a Michelin starred restaurant and I really wanted to try it. It's very seafood heavy. My husband is not the biggest seafood fan, but I think I found like a chicken dish on the menu. So anyway, that's what's for dinner tonight. But I had to freshen up. I feel absolutely delirious. So we had to get out of the hotel room. Otherwise I was gonna fall asleep. And then we know what happens <laughs> if I fall asleep. It would have been all over. So we're just walking around and I'm gonna look for some coffee. I can't imagine that'll be hard to find here. And we're making our way to the Arc de Triomphe. Where's the Starbucks? Just kidding. <laughs> Okay, we're back in our room from our little, uh, our, our mini walk. I just wanted to walk to the Ark and basically come back around, which is what we did. Got that coffee and we discovered that we have a little half bath off of the little atrium here. <laughs> so cool. Because when we walked back into the room, we both had to use the lavatory. And then I was like, what is this door? And my husband was like, oh, look, it's a half bath. 
So amazing. We don't have to fight over the, the toilet. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, I'm so tired, but we're gonna shower and get ready for dinner. Very excited. Hello, friends. I just showered. I was really hoping it was going to revive me, <laughs> wake me up a little bit for dinner, but I think, I think I succeeded in really relaxing myself, and now all I wanna do is crawl into bed. But anyway, we're going to dinner. We are gonna do it because we were toying around with the idea of actually um, canceling. But my husband checked the cancellation policy and you have to cancel 24 hours in advance, otherwise they charge you per person, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, we're going. We're going to dinner. It's right downstairs. It's in the hotel. <laughs> Can't get any lazier than that. And it makes life a little bit easier. No decisions to be made. We have to go. So I did wanna report back to you guys because I've been using that uh, cadence travel system. This is the first trip that I've used this. Uh, and I wanted to report back to you because I remember when I was packing, I wasn't sure if these were leak proof. I assumed that they were, that's kind of the point. And they are like, look, like not even any little bit at the seam. So really great. And this has my serum in it, which is probably the most, uh, like loosey goosey formula. Everything else is kind of like a cream or whatever. Anyway, uh, so just want to report back on that. Sorry, this lighting. Oh, that's better. I just need to back up a little bit and make sure my robe is closed. <laughs> so I am only going to be doing um, skincare and blow drying my hair because I want to come back from dinner, change into my pajamas, and go right to bed. So we're doing my evening skincare routine right now. I did pack my Sisley Sisley Essential Skincare Lotion. I'm going to throw some of this on. Do my eyes look... Bloodshot? They don't look bloodshot, my eyes look glassy. That's what they look. I was actually smart enough this time to not just pack my glasses in my carry-on, um, because I usually do like just in case something happens to my contact, whatever. It gotta have my glasses just in case. But I generally get too lazy once I get on the flight to like take my contact lenses out, put my, con put my glasses on. But I did that this time and I think that really saved me because usually my eyes when I get off of a flight, oh my God, they're like so dry, so bloodshot, so pink. But I changed into my glasses and then after we got all of our luggage and everything, I put a fresh pair of dailies in. So my eyes are glassy, but they're not bloodshot, which is great. Okay, going in with the serum, I did pack the True Botanicals Chibula Active Serum. I think that's the full name. Not a drop has spilled out. I need to stand somewhere else. Hold on one second. How's, is that better? Yeah, okay. All the track lights, they're like right above me, but I wasn't sure where they were angled. Okay, <laughs> gonna apply the serum now. I don't know if you guys watched my pack with me video, but I just ran out of the Dior serum I've been using. Such a sad day, such a sad day. I was sitting there just like, pumping. I'm like, nope, there's gotta be more, there's gotta be more. There was nothing. Like I got three squirts out of it and that was it, just air. But I'm glad I had some of my True Botanicals serum as a backup. I was like, uh, what am I gonna do? Let's see, serum and then I'm just gonna go straight into <laughs> the Clay de Post Inactive Cream. Oh, that feels nice. All right, well, I am just gonna throw some La Creme 230 into my hair blow dry it out and get dressed. I'll be right back. So just a quick word on the T3 fit. So if, again, if you guys watched my pack with me video, I pulled this out because I didn't wanna pack obviously my large size one and I had just remembered that T3 had sent this to me. It's a little compact hair dryer. It really is perfect for travel. But of course, generally my issue with travel hair dryers is they're not powerful enough. It takes forever for my hair to dry, blah, 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 blah. And this was, incredibly powerful. I was actually really, really impressed. I had it on low. I thought I had switched it all the way up, but I had it on low and I was satisfied with that power. And then when I looked, I realized I had it only, you know, like midway. And I was like, oh my God, there's a whole nother like level. And then there's three um, heat levels and then there's a cold blast, everything you need. And I'm really impressed with how quickly it dried my hair, how powerful it was. Still gentle though. I don't feel like my hair feels burned or anything. Really awesome, really impressed with this guy. I'm so glad I brought it along. Okay guys, I did it. <laughs> I got dressed. 
I got dressed despite being awake for more than 24 hours now. But let me show you my outfit. Okay, here is my outfit. I've got the barrel leg trousers from Cos on, my Kate Marcy ballet flats, my row blazer, my blouse from Everlane, and my Celine handbag, which is so squeaky. So squeaky. Off to dinner we go. Good morning. Well, you guys, I slept like a log last night, 12 hours straight. I don't even think I moved and actually woke up just in time to catch breakfast. Uh, breakfast here at the hotel is from seven until 10 and we woke up at 9.15. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, oh my God, we gotta get breakfast. Breakfast was wonderful. It's included with the room. If you get room service, I think you only get, basically it's like the continental breakfast. I think that's the only option. But if you go downstairs, they have a whole, a whole menu, you know, with like eggs, hot breakfast, things like that. So it was quite delicious. And the coffee was incredible. I had an Americano and it just, it went down real smooth. So that was great, but we have to get ready. We. <laughs> We have a lunch reservation at 12 noon, um, so I didn't stuff my face at breakfast, <laughs> which I wanted to do with lunch in mind, but I wanted to put some makeup on because, you know, sleeping that heavily, I just feel like I look like I got punched in the face. I really do. I look very, like, puffy and, and all of that stuff, and I think after a whole day of traveling yesterday, I look, um, I look a little haggard. So anyway, I'm going to put on some makeup. And I, of course, because I packed so pared down, I don't have a mirror. I forgot to bring my little Elio travel mirror. I'm so pissed at myself. But this room has incredible lighting. This is that little entry room and like mirrors everywhere. So we're gonna put makeup on in this mirror. Can you guys, can you guys see me a little bit? Yeah, if I use this one, I think you guys can see me. I have not decided what I'm gonna be wearing, so I just have this gray t-shirt on, but I'm gonna be changing. It's that weird kind of weather where it's not warm. It's definitely not warm, but it's rainy. But the humidity is making it feel warmer than it is. And yeah, I go between like feeling like chilly to like feeling way too hot. So I'm trying to figure out what to wear. Um, and because it is raining, I think we're just gonna take a car over to lunch. And then after lunch, we're going to the LV Foundation and we're just gonna take a car from there. So anyway, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna wear, long story short. But let's just start with some makeup. I've got my Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. And I didn't even pack any brushes. So all of this is gonna be done with my fingers. Not my favorite thing, but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, I've got my petal blush from Westman Atelier. I've got my Kirwai Signature Glow Palette, so I'm going to use a little bit of this highlight. Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. I'm going to curl my lashes. 
I think I'm just gonna do mascara, maybe a little bit of eyeliner. I don't think I'm gonna bother with eyeshadow. Oh, and this is my um, Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. The Suku Gel Eyeliner in Dark Brown. I'm gonna just tight line. I think that's okay. And then I've got my Faro Humidi uh, Lip Liner. Oh, I didn't bring a sharpener. I didn't pack that well for makeup, did I? My Summer Fridays Dream Lip Oil in Blush Dreams. Blush Dreams. Okay, how do I look? God, the bags under my eyes are getting Serious. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about those now. All right, now I just gotta figure out what I'm gonna wear. I feel like everything I brought is just a little bit for like a little bit cooler weather than this. Even though I knew, I knew it was happening. I, I just always forget about like the humidity factor because it's so dry in Vegas. Yeah. The same temperature just feels a lot warmer here. All right, so this is the outfit I decided on. Like I was just mentioning, it's humid here, so I feel a little bit thrown, and I'm already kind of warm in this, but I'm just gonna wear this cardigan with no jacket because it's like a heavy drizzle outside. So we're gonna take a car from here to lunch and then uh, from lunch to the LV Foundation for the Mark Rothko exhibit. So I've got my Loewe cardigan on, I've got my Kaz barrel, uh, barrel-legged wool trousers on, I wore these to dinner last night, and my Celine Triumph bag, and that's it. I wonder if I'm gonna regret not bringing a jacket, but I think I'm gonna be fine. I don't think it's that big of a deal, and we're not going that far. Lunch is actually near this hotel, and then the LV Foundation is actually very near this hotel, which I did on purpose because I wanted to come to Paris before going to Finland for this Mark Rothko exhibit, so all is well. So I think today's gonna be an easy day. We don't have plans for dinner, which is kind of exciting. I think we're just gonna wing it. My husband really wants to try the Chinese food here in Paris. Uh, because last year when we were here, we did not have any Chinese food. We had a lot of Italian food. Oh, no, wait, that's a lie. We went to an Asian restaurant, which was, um, it definitely had a lot of Chinese influence, but also Korean. It was a really interesting restaurant. I actually wouldn't mind going back there, but we're going to try and find new stuff. And yeah, my husband loves Chinese food. You guys know I'm not actually the biggest fan of Chinese food, ironically, but he is really, really wanting to try dumplings. He really wants to try Parisian dumplings. So we're gonna see if we can find that. That's the plan for dinner. But other than that, I think between Mark Rothko and dinner, I just need, I need to work. Unfortunately, I have a lot of editing to do, so I'm gonna do that. But it's just, it's so nice to be here, you guys. It's so, so nice to be in Paris. I love this city.
Well, good evening, friends. It's going to seem like we're just going from feeding to feeding. And uh, you would be right. You would be right. That would be the correct impression. <laughs> no, we had a wonderful time at Prunier. The, geez, the food was incredible. I started with that Christian Dior egg with the caviar on top. And then I had uh, linguine with caviar. It was so delicious. And whatever my husband had, I can't even remember anymore. He, I think he started with yellowtail sashimi. And then he had, oh, like a celery root risotto, risotto in quotes, with black truffle. I mean, does it get any better? It was incredible. Anyway, we uh, then took a car. Oh, because then he had souffle, which they said would take about 10 minutes uh, to make. Of course, it takes a while. It actually took more like 30 minutes. <laughs> and I had a time ticket to the Mark Rothko exhibit. So anyway, we rushed over there. We were going to walk, but we ended up taking a car. And it was fine. They didn't even look at the time or anything. The exhibit was breathtaking. Breathtaking. I think I mentioned this when I talked about this trip, but the reason why we came to Paris was for this show. So it was, it really lived up to its hype. I mean, never have we seen, I think, all of those Mark Rothko's under one roof. It was really, really moving. So that was really wonderful. And then we came back to our room. My husband took a little nap. I did some work. I had to, you know, put up a blog post and edit some pictures and edit some videos and blah, blah, blah. But that was nice just to kind of sit. Um, I think I'm still kind of reeling from the travel day yesterday. But anyway, I am starving. I mean, what's new? And I woke up my husband uh, because he wants to go to that like hole in the wall Chinese restaurant that he found on some list, I think on Eater or something. Um, but they're known, I think they may only actually have dumplings. The restaurant is called, what is it called? I just looked it up. I think it's Ravioli's Nord. And it's quite a ways away from here. I think it'll be like a 30 minute uh, car ride. So that's where we're going. And I'm very, very excited. Very, very excited for more food. Yes. So let's get to it. We need more food. Hello everyone. Good afternoon. Oh my gosh, I had a rough night. Jet lag really hit me hard. I couldn't sleep. I slept for about two hours. I woke up and was wide awake. So I basically just worked all night, read, and then that, <laughs> that was it. And then I got back into bed, tried to fall back asleep, but it was morning. So the traffic started up. I could hear people out in the hallway, you know, it was just regular daytime activity. And so I just, I couldn't really sleep. So now I feel del delirious. We've had a lovely breakfast here. We had lunch downstairs um, at the library bar, library room. I think it's called the library bar. And it was great. And today's our last full day, right? Yeah, today's our last full day here in Paris tomorrow we leave for Finland and so I wanted to go shopping I haven't <laughs> I haven't gone shopping or anything not that I have to but I wanted to squeeze some in see if there's anything that I liked the exchange rate is in our favor so I'm just trying to muster up the energy it's like put on some makeup and go outside oh my god I'm so tired but I'm gonna rally my husband actually is taking a shower right now yeah he's actually doing a bit better than me <laughs> 
He slept last night and he also napped yesterday and I was like, I'm not napping. If I nap, it's gonna screw me up. And I didn't nap and I didn't sleep. So I don't know what that's about. But I did um, make a reservation this evening at a restaurant that is highly rated for its pizza. Now, I don't know if you guys watched my vlog when I came to Paris last year, but my husband and I, you know, we had made some dinner reservations or whatever, but we want to leave some meals um, spontaneous. So we ended up going out to pizza like twice maybe when we were here and it was some of the best pizza we had ever had. I thought, let me do a search for uh, like best pizza and there was one that popped up actually by the Eiffel Tower. So we're gonna end up there tonight because I do wanna see the Eiffel Tower, of course. I saw it a little bit driving around last night when we went to go get dumplings. But yeah, I want a, a nice good view of it this evening. And then we'll come back and I'm gonna try and go to bed. But I've been getting a lot of work done, which is, which is great. And then after that, hopefully I'll, I can just go to sleep tonight. Um, and tomorrow is Finland. So that'll be, that'll be Paris. Okay, I'm gonna motivate. I'm gonna get up, put on some makeup and just try and like, snap out of this daze that I'm in. <laughs>
Le Bon Marche. And I got a little something, but not too much. It was really hot in there. <laughs> really, really hot, slightly uncomfortable. Um, but now we're walking to dinner. It's actually a pretty far walk, but it's such a nice night. And I need to like air myself out. <laughs> so, um, so we're doing that. We're walking actually towards the Eiffel Tower. We're having pizza at Popu. Popu is the name of the restaurant. And actually, before I forget, I ran into two subscribers at La Bon Marche. So that was really, really fun. Um, I forgot to ask the second woman what her name was. So I apologize if you're watching this. We ran into two, uh, we ran into each other at the tax refund area, um, and I also ran into Cookie from Hong Kong. So hello, thank you guys for stopping me and saying hello. I love that. All right, off we go. Oh, actually, let me show you the sunset we're walking towards. It's quite lovely. Are the colors coming through, not really. It's a little pinkier and peachier than how it's appearing. Taking you in this moment, come get close like your own name. Read your aura, you want more of all this love, you'll be your name. Release all of your burdens, it's been me, you'll be searching. Take a load off and your clothes off, just relax, you deserve it. You keep me up tonight, got you all on my mind. Seem like that's hard it's fine when they keep playing games. in the room. I'm back in bed. <laughs> I ate that whole pizza, you guys. Oh my god, it was so good. But my husband and I tried to walk it off, but it got really, really cold after dinner. We were actually planning on walking back to the Eiffel Tower <laughs> because the light show started at 8. Our dinner reservation was at 6, so we were a little early, and I was like, okay, we'll just come back after. So we started to walk back towards the Apple Tower. And I was like, I am freezing. And I was getting really tired because you guys know I didn't sleep last night. And I ate that whole damn pizza. <laughs> so I was like, let's just go back to the hotel room. So we came back here and my husband wanted hot cocoa. So we actually sat down at the bar and I got an herbal tea and I was I couldn't keep my eyes open. So here we are. He's already passed out. I'm like, how do you sleep after hot cocoa? I don't, I don't, under, I don't understand. If I had hot cocoa, I'd be up until next Friday. I'm going to hit the sack. And today is our last day in Paris, basically. Um, we are leaving tomorrow for Finland. And there's a possible strike going on. I don't know what's going to happen. I, I, I just, I don't know what's going to happen. We may get stuck in Helsinki. That's where we're transferring before we go up to Ivalo. I think that's how you pronounce it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> what will be, will be. So uh, we're gonna pack up tomorrow morning, leave our flight isn't until the afternoon, and then off to Finland. All right, we're so. all packed up and ready for Finland. I'm so excited. Of course, the temperature here in Paris just dropped, <laughs> but I think it's, it's still colder in Finland. We are in a lounge in the Paris airport waiting to board our flight to Finland. So exciting. I am still really tired. I never, I haven't gotten over my jet lag. So the last two nights here in Paris, I have not slept well at all. A little better last night, but the night before, whoa, did not sleep at all, just tossing and turning. So I'm hoping I'm gonna adjust soon. I think the cold weather in Finland will help. Our hotel room was lovely. Our hotel in, in Paris was lovely and our room was lovely, but it was a little bit warm and I don't sleep well when it's warm. So maybe that was it. Anyway, we're just waiting around. We've got another, maybe a little bit less than an hour to go and then off to Helsinki and then Ivalo. Mm -hmm. 